So, today, before we start writing in our planning journals, we'll just have a bit of a meeting about the spaces that are open. So, there's a few things that I wanted to talk to you about, Jazz, before we started. The water paints. Yeah, I did want to talk to you about the water paints because we've been doing a bit of work with them and that's actually number one on my planning meeting, Kelsey, is our water paint. So we've also been talking a little bit about the types of lines that we use in our drawings. Can you remember some of the lines that we were talking Circle. about? You might do a round line. What are some other types of lines? Like squiggly lines. Line. You might do a squiggly wobbly. one. Wobbly. straight. You might do a thick line. Or a middle line. A, a middle line or a short line. So I've, you've been working with these paints for a little while, so I've brought in some new special tools to use with the paints. Yeah, and they're and hiding in see, here. I didn't see the yellow the first time I had them. Do you know what? We didn't have the yellow and I actually found a yellow and I thought that would be a great colour to add to our palette. So we'll be able to use the yellow today. So that's number one on our planning meeting. The second space I wanted to talk to you about today number two. was number two is our Play-Doh. Play and today with the Play-Doh, did you notice what's with the Play-Doh today for you to use? There are some stones with the Play-Doh. So you might like to think about how you could use those. And we've also got some rolling pins. Oh, I have them with... Marie when she was my teacher. Yeah, so we've got them out again today. They're, they're rollers. Yeah, they are rollers. See, so they're over at the Play-Doh. You can have a think about how you might like to use those. They're to flatten um, paper. You I can flatten lots of things. When, 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 when my teacher. Oh. Right. Number, space number three that's open today is... What? the blocks so that might be a space that you might like to think about. That's got to be ideas, what about that? You think we should have space for our own ideas on here? Yep, that sounds like a good plan. Number four is space for your own idea. So would you like to hop into your thinking bubbles before we draw in our journals? So have a think about where you would like to work and what you're going to use in that space and who you might like to work with. So I'll count down from five today. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, you got your ideas ready? Yes. Fabulous. Jasmine, here's your planning journal. We use the planning journals in a number of different ways and sometimes that evolves as the year progresses. So often the children will use the journal to plan their day out. Sometimes they will use it just to settle in for the morning. Some children are more skilled, obviously, at sharing their forward planning in their journal. Some will choose to just draw a picture of their mum or their dad. Um, and we also use it for reflection as well. Some days the children will use the journals at the end of the day mm. to reflect upon what they've done. Mm. Um, but they have access to those whenever they choose. And you'll notice that as the year progresses, they're now more skillful at taking their journals with them. Mm. And they'll go off and reference their journal when they're doing things. So it's a real progression through the year. When the children have done their planning for the day, a teacher will often go and spend some time with a group drawing their ideas. We just think it's a really important way for children to share their thinking and to develop their lines of investigation through drawing. It's really amazing to watch their skill at drawing improve and we take the journals quite seriously in terms of looking after them. They're dated every day and they're named every day carefully by the teachers so that we can progress through with the children and see how they're growing and changing.